Oh my, what is going on over here? Hello everyone, this is Nathan Star, and welcome back to another Minecraft Snapshot review. In today's review, we'll be diving into Snapshot 20W49A. We'll be covering the new Dripstone Cave Generation-ish, and taking a look at the new Skulk Sensor Block, or Skulk Sensor Creature. But anyways, if you guys are excited for 20W.49A and want to see more snapshot videos in the not too distant future then be sure to hit that like button and if you're new to the channel and want to see more minecraft videos in the not too distant future then also subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos drop but anyways without further ado let us begin In the last snapshot review, we talked about the dripstone block and pointed dripstone. However, in snapshot 20w49a, the dripstone caves were finally added. Well, sort of. The only way to access the dripstone cave generation at this time is by creating a custom cave world and select dripstone caves. It may not be the cave generation that we're expecting but it'll do until the new cave generation gets implemented in future snapshots. The Skulk sensors are a bizarre tendril-filled block that can detect any vibration within its range. This block will appear in the deep, dark caves. The Skulk can detect vibrations within an 8 block radius. It can emit a redstone signal when activated. However, the more you approach the block, the stronger the signal gets. But if you don't want the Skulk to detect you, you can do one of two things. Crouching. or place down wool in an area near the skull. Wool is the only block that is able to muffle the frequency of a skulk when one is nearby. To break a skulk, the efficient tool for the job is a hoe of your choice. And I hope nobody takes that out of context. There are many vibration types and frequencies you can do with the skull creature, such as approaching it, swimming near it, elytra freefall, splash, hit ground, projectile shoots and lands, and many, many more. Here is a list of all the vibration types and the frequency values that it emits. And that is pretty much all of the features that were added in this snapshot. I know that there wasn't much to go over other than a few in-game changes and bug fixes. But overall, it was a pretty fun review and I recommend y'all to check out the snapshot for yourself. But for now, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. What are your thoughts on the skull creature and what do you want to see next? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. But for now, that is all from this time. 
If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more snapshot reviews in the not too distant future, then be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as well and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos drop. For now, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and of course, and we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye. In the last snapshot review, oh god. In the last snapshot review, the only way to access the Dripstone Cave generation at this time All right, take two on Skulk Sensor Blocks. Oh boy. <laughs> the Skulk Sensors are a bizarre tendril-filled block that can be detected. <laughs> it's not supposed to be that way. Shut up! <laughs> I will leave a list. Here are the list. Here is a list of all the vibration types and the free But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this short. <laughs> but for now, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. For now, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and of course, we will see you all in the next snapshot review, or the next video. And we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!